Hello everyone and welcome back to another KSP Kerbal Space Program morning video. Um, hmm, yeah, talk about, talk about time. I tell you, how, how the holidays are a madhouse. My gosh, I don't know how you guys do it. All right, so I have been working <laughs> on a uh, SSTO that popped into my head and the questions oh the questions i've been asking you guys on um on on youtube are to help me better understand what kind of vehicles or what kind of things i should be focusing on in this game here we go i have no idea that's what it's called uh <laughs> it's um it's just a concept pretty sure it's going to need more engines than that but it's a dual cargo hold ssto um i'm going to make a floor and then i'm gonna have it so when these open up like so that floor will there's a secondary floor that was going to be on a piston and it's going to slide out and then there's going to be a hinge on that piston that's going to allow the floor to point downwards so it's a little ramp going in and out and then one, once it loads up with the cargo and it's going to be the cargo is going to be held by a claw or something then it will take off into space deliver the cargo or connect to a mothership either two and then when it lands it uh you know drops off the cargo now here's the thing about it is that the monopropellant tanks are empty i might fill them up with a little bit of something for uh, uh space uh, maneuvering but this back end is just for show for now however i'm actually thinking about putting maybe some engines back here i think that that might be cool like it like it uh, it opens up and maybe there's nuclear engines in there and maybe it's interplanetary that's a possibility i mean that'd be that'd look kind of cool right um there are two cargo bays up here and one is to have like power and stuff batteries and whatnot of course the other one is for actual crew compartment not for interplanetary of course because that would be horrible for the little kerbals but if this thing was like going into orbit or back or delivering people from orbit to the planet's surface there would be a decupola right there and i'd kind of merge it in a little bit so that you could actually see outside the windows because it glitches through the part and then maybe some crew modules back here with some uh, stuff to hook up to a, a space station or spacecraft in space I mean, that's an idea now like i said before i'm pretty sure this is not enough engines i'm probably gonna have to double this up or at least put a few more on there but there it is it's 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 uh, still still a work work in progress this weekend i want to go ahead and try to get some duna colony footage going thankfully i don't have to work this weekend although it would be nice for the overtime but I'm okay when it comes to finances. I am okay. Saturday might be a live stream, so look forward to that. If it is a live stream, it'll be around 10 o'clock or so. And maybe maybe it'll be us working on this thing. That'd be cool. Yeah, I don't know what to call this thing yet. Kind of reminds me of a manta ray, kind of. Maybe not, I don't know. But anyway, I just want to let you guys know that I really appreciate each and every single one of you. Your support is amazing. I'm still trying to figure out ways to expand the channel and make it grow. It's a trickle right now, but everyone who's subscribed is awesome. I wish I had time to post my stuff like on Reddit or the Kerbal Space Program forums, but I really, really don't. If any of you could help me out with that, that'd be awesome. Twitter or all that are good stuff. But that's all I've got for this morning. So if you like what you saw, please hit that like button. And if you really like what you see, consider subscribing. I download almost every day. It's a little slow during the holidays, of course, but it'll speed up once things get back to normal. Alrighty then, love you all. Take care and I will see you in another video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.